Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to my advanced underwater dome house tutorial. This house is pretty awesome. It's got a nice little furnace room, a bedroom, a chest storage area, and then last but certainly not least, a full enchantment table. And uh, I guess last, last but certainly not least, is a really uh, nice farm underground. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so for your advanced underwater dome, you're going to start off making a shape like this. You can pause the video here. I'm using sea lanterns. You don't have to. You could use cobblestone. You could use glowstone. You could use whatever. But I like to use something that glows and sea lanterns fit the underwater theme here. So all you're going to do is start off by placing one, two, three, four, and five blocks in a row. Then diagonally, you're going to place two on both sides. Then you're going to place one diagonal to those two. And then two more going the opposite way. Then you're going to gonna connect five more and then you're gonna do that all the way around until you end up with a shape like that so essentially just overlay what you built on the ground with a glowy block or whatever you built and then we're gonna take these blocks and we're gonna bring them up to higher for a total of three and we're gonna go all the way around and do that all right now once that is completed you're going to uh, well I'll just show you how it looks in case you guys didn't know but it's the same shape that's uh, on the bottom and oh that's the I was like oh no I can't go above because I'll drown, I'm a sea creature for this video. But uh, essentially you're gonna connect them diagonally. You don't wanna have blocks like that. You wanna make sure it's all diagonal. So you're gonna end up wasting a lot of glass unless you wanna like carry some cobblestone with you. And what I mean by that is on those corner blocks you just place like a piece of cobblestone and then break it if you don't wanna waste glass if you're on survival. Which uh, this is built for survival so you probably wanna take some, just a stack of cobblestone or something. You won't need more than probably like I mean, I guess you could survive with just one piece of cobblestone, but you'd have to go down there and get it every time. And uh, another tip is when you're down here and building it, you can place a door like this, and a door will provide a little air pocket that you can chill in and uh, revive yourself on the airs. But uh, if you don't want to do that, then, uh, well, I, I, I don't know what you want to do, because you'll probably die if you don't do that. But after that, we're going to go up another layer, and we're going to continue the same sort of pattern without having any diagonals. Now, right there, you're going to have to actually have that right there, so don't worry about that, but uh, I guess that's technically still, like, diagonally connected, but squid, you're in the way. You got to move. I, you're, you're not a build squid. You, you, you got to get out of here, man. I can't, I can't have you interrupting my recording like that. Come on. And then uh, we're just going to do the same thing all the way around, just uh, breaking that block on the uh, diagonal side. And then we're going to go up one more time, I think. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll check in a second, but just keep going up. You could you could really go all the way up, but it wouldn't look like a dome. It would look more like a half circle or something kind of weird, but I, I guess it <laughs> that's funny because a dome is kind of a half circle, but I, I don't know what I'm even trying to say there, I guess. But uh, you want to go up like one more time like that, and then on top of that, you want to go ahead and diagonally connect everything, it looks like. Yep, that's what it's looking like in the picture I took. So you're just going to come up here, and it doesn't matter about the diagonals on this layer because you're just going to connect it all anyways. So make sure you get inside your build, and uh, make sure you juice up on air so you don't die. Because if you don't have any air, then you will suffocate slowly, and uh, you will perish, which is not good. We're going to come down below here. How I would recommend it is getting sponges. I don't know how you get those without like cheating. I, I really don't. I've never like used them in survival Minecraft. So you can fill this entire thing up with sand or something, I suppose, and use sand and manually uh, do this. But if you have sponges available to you, that's going to make this job a whole heck of a lot easier. So we're just going to break everything as far as water goes. And then we should be good. Go ahead and remove all the sponges. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh no! Actually, you know what? We're we're, we're gonna save the squid. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna come in here and we're going to. Oh no! I'll, oh, rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. Then we're gonna take some spruce uh, wood planks like this, and we're gonna replace the entire floor of our build with these spruce wood planks. So go ahead and do that now. All right. Now, once you've completed that task, you're gonna find the middle of your wall on this side, and we're gonna build it just straight across. And then on the other side, we're going to do that as well. This is going to leave the borders for the rooms. And yes, it's kind of expensive as far as materials go. So you don't have to do this, but it just provides light and means you don't really have to have torches above, which is very nice. You're going to then take your uh, leaves like these, and you're just going to place them all the way across what you just built with the light blocks. And then you're going to take these slabs, and you're just going to build those on top. This is going to leave a nice little border for the walls. Looks kind of fancy, and uh, does the job quite well. Alright. 
All right, and the next step here is going to be placing some trap doors right here. And then we're gonna place one right here. And then a final one right here. And then under those trap doors, there's just gonna be the little like doors for the room. They're not really doors, but they kind of work for doors. And uh, you wanna replace that block under there with some uh, spruce logs. So I think that, uh, let's see, let me orientate myself to where this picture was taken. So like this, we're gonna start off right here with the uh, bedroom, so let's get started. All right, so first things first, in this corner right here, you're gonna wanna take a crafting table and put a pressure plate. All right, I got everything you're gonna need besides that crafting table that took up two spots. It was too many spots for me to have. And we're gonna put a bed right there. We're gonna put a fence post too high right there. In the corner, we're gonna put an ender chest and a chest. Over here, we're gonna go down, or not go down, we're gonna throw down two of these anvils, fancy anvils. We're gonna put three bookcases in a shape like that, put the pot there, put a blue orchid in it. Last but certainly not least, we're going to take some trap doors and we're just going to place those right there just so the bed looks like it's sort of sectioned off. And this is going to be your bedroom. So uh, let's move hmm, Let's move to this room right here. Alright, so this room over here is going to be our furnace room. So we're going to go ahead and just place four furnaces right there, four, fur oh, four furnaces right there. Then we're going to place two right there and two right there. You don't have to do this. It's completely optional, but it's aesthetically pleasing if you place some stone pressure plates on top. It gives it that old alpha look. And then right here, we're going to place down four crafting tables, just in case you need some crafting tables. And uh, that's the furnace smelting area. If you want to put a chest here, you can. You don't have to. But if you want to like store something temporarily, you could just put a chest there. It's not really going to matter. But uh, this is going to be your furnace smelting area. So now we're going to get to, let's see, let me orientate this again. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Let's go ahead and build the storage room, which is going to be right here. So let's do that. Now, contrary to popular belief, all you're going to need is some chests. I actually stopped the recording and I realized that I already have everything I need. Now, it will open on the top block because Minecraft does not treat glass like a solid block. So that's good. You can open your top chest there. Uh, all you have to do really is just line the chest up like I'm doing right there. And then you can go ahead and place a double chest right there. Place a double chest. Uh, where, where did I put that one? I put it right there, and then you can place a singular chest. You could do some trickery with some trap chests if you want, but I think that should be enough storage. That's a heck of a lot of storage, honestly. And uh, last but certainly not least, we're going to get started on this enchantment table area. Oh, and uh, there's also a little secret here. I actually forgot to build it, but there's going to be a nice little underground farm over here, so we're just going to dig that down for now. But we'll get to that in a minute. Hopefully I don't forget it. If I do, you can... Uh, I don't know, you, you can yell at me in the comments or something, but I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get started on this. So starting off building this right here, we're going to break this block right there and that block right there. We're just going to place a stair and then a stair just so we can get down to the level of the enchantment table. And then we're going to break this block right here and we're going to put a bookcase and then we're going to go ahead and just break out a little bit of this area right here just so we have it broken. And uh, you can go ahead and just throw down these stairs too while the, these blocks are still here so it's not a pain in the butt. But uh, on one side, what you can do is just put some heads. You really, it's it's up to you, whatever you want to do. But I like to just have a little bit of decor over here. But uh, again, it's up to you. Break out this 3x3 three three area right here. And then go ahead and just take your bookcases. And uh, the corners do matter. So if you can build the corner, do. But like right here, you can't. So just ignore it. But like over here, you could definitely do the uh, corners. So just go ahead and build your giant, not your giant, but your uh, semi-giant enchantment table area. We're going to place some spruce down here. And if you want to, you can take one of these sea lanterns and you can put it right there and then throw down the enchantment table. And last, but certainly not least for this area, of course, you're gonna need an anvil. Uh, if you want a chest or something, you can definitely do that as well. You could throw some chests up like right here. This isn't even in my pre-built area, but I just thought of that. You might want some chests for some books or whatever, but you can throw down, throw those, <laughs> throw those down right there. So now you have nice access down into here. You have a nice access into your furnace area. And then, of course, your bedroom. But last, and certainly not least, we're going to get to the uh, farm down here. So let's grab those materials, and I'll be right back. All right, so building this isn't too, too hard. I'm going to go ahead and just throw this in my uh, side here so you guys can see everything I do. That's the only found, uh, use I've really found for having this fancy, uh, I don't even know what's called, dual wielding, I guess. I don't really understand why it's in Minecraft. I don't think it has a place in Minecraft, but it's here, and I, I can't change it. But uh, you just dig this down as deep as you'd like. It really does not matter. I'm going to go down just two more just to be sure. Again, it really, really doesn't matter. Hopefully you don't run into some caves or something. Caves or something. I don't know. That was weird. Just placed a block that I did not ask it to. I can't. 
all right we're just gonna we're just gonna do this because minecraft's not being nice to me right now but all you're gonna do is break out a three high area and you're gonna want to break out one that's seven by seven and uh seven by seven meaning starting from this corner so this is three this is four five six and then seven and then do it over here so two or this would be one two three four five six and then seven and then go ahead and just break out the area in between there so not too hard i uh i think you guys should be able to accomplish this i don't think i need to record all this it's gonna be boring all right awesome so we're gonna go ahead and take these torches out of our inventory we're gonna place some uh some cobblestone in the corner like this and you're gonna want to do that on all four corners here obviously the one with the ladder you can only place one but it'll be all right i promise and then we're gonna put all those right there gonna find the center of the area you're going to place a sea lantern at the bottom or glowstone it really doesn't matter or nothing uh, just a little bit of extra lighting and you want to place a lily pad right there now on top of this you want to place a piece of cobblestone this is just going to add a little bit more lighting and uh, now we should be good as far as lighting is concerned we're going to take some dirt and we're just going to fill up this entire area with dirt obviously so we can grow some stuff uh, whatever you want to grow down here well it's up to you i would grow just a variety of things but uh, if you're going for efficiency, probably potatoes are the best, I think, or carrots, or one of the two. I really don't know. But uh, you want to take some sort of uh, tilling device. Oh, tilling. Okay, I'll just grab it, actually. And then you want to take a potato, like one of these. And then you just want to till the entire area, like... And then you're all tilled. Pretty easy. All you have to do is take a hoe, and then uh, just film it. Uh film it shaking like this and then pause the recording and then till it all and then unpause the recording also shaking and then you have your entire area filled I actually learned that from a youtuber named fancy blue pants him and I used to play uh, some minecraft together he's the one who actually made me not such a crappy builder believe it or not I was not good at one point and uh, there you go that's pretty much done you want to take some spruce now I don't know why I forgot this you want to do the uh, walls and the ceiling with spruce wood just something like that, and then your underground farm is complete. Now, as far as getting in and out of this build are concerned, there's... Oh, whoa, 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 this is not complete. What did I think? I need to put this spruce here, it's gonna look ugly. Make sure you don't forget the spruce in your uh, travel passageway, because if you forget that, it's gonna look like trash. But uh, there you go, that's pretty much done as far as... Uh, the build goes but if you want to get in or out of this build you can do a variety of methods you could in your bedroom remove one of these anvils and uh, you could place a door like this and uh, you could just swim up and down that's probably not going to be the best method but uh, if you want to you could build a glass tube out like this and then you could build it all the way over to a piece of land and then just go straight up with it build with a solid block like that so you could put ladders on it and then you could just go straight up like that uh, that's one method you could build a ladder in the very center of the build and do something as far as that's concerned just go straight up with like a tube on top like uh, like if you found the center like right there you'd build a tube like that and you just go straight up but one of these blocks would have to be a solid block so like that you could go all the way to the surface there's a variety of methods you could use to get in and out I know people always ask me Neo how do you get in and out of your builds you build them but then you don't show anyone how to get in or out and that's a good point I don't usually but uh, that's one way you could do it. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to conclude this video. So if you guys enjoyed this build and you want to see more builds like this and more, click that subscribe button. You get notified when I upload a new tutorial or Fortnite video or whatever I'm doing at the moment. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy the content, I ask that you leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the content, leave a dislike. But I also ask if you leave a dislike that you leave a comment explaining why you disliked it so I can better cater my content towards your liking. Uh, links to the texture pack, shader pack, all that fancy stuff is down in the description below. And, uh, the Twitter is also down there if you want to send me pictures of these builds or any of the builds I do on my channel. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.